Hey everybody, Garrett Tesla. If you don't know me, I'm an active cop in California and host of the Squadron Podcast where we help cops navigate their challenging careers and challenging times. I'm on a run this afternoon again and uh, still struggling with what I posted about in the last video about confronting cynicism in my own life, my own career, and thinking today on the role that blame plays in that and how as cops we're set up to look for evidence, find a suspect, and put a case on them, right? We've, we find reasons to blame somebody uh, in an investigation, but we do the same thing in our personal lives too, and at work with our organizations and our agency. We blame admin, we blame the media, we blame the public, all these different people that we can't control. And what I was thinking about today was how we subconsciously blame them and we put this burden on them that they either know nothing about or care about, and then we subtly expect them to change and make things better for us. And that's just a recipe for disaster. You see, cynicism needs an enemy. It needs somebody to blame. You can't be cynical if there's no one to blame. And it's too hard to look at ourselves sometimes and put the blame on us. So we blame everybody else out there. And then we get cynical and jaded, angry, and the downward slide begins. So what can you do about it? The biggest thing is it goes back to what I said the other day. Control what you can control. Focus on contribution and your place. We talk about badges on the show and our beliefs, actions, discipline, goals, emotions, and service and how they all intertwine. Be of service and focus on your beliefs that you are in service and of service to others. Focus on those beliefs. Focus on building a gratitude practice because it's really hard to be cynical when you feel grateful. Those two things, three things. Build a gratitude practice. Control what you can control and focus on your service. That'll get you through it. Take care of each other and stay safe.